Introducing the Landry Design family of plug-in objects for Vectorworks. In the next few moments, we're going to look at two of these objects. These are the objects that comprise Audio Toolset 2. This is the second generation of our tools that is used to create uh, loudspeakers and flown line arrays. You see examples on your screen now. Though I'm going to select them and get rid of them so you can see how the tools work. AudioBox 2 is used to create loudspeakers. I've selected its icon over here, and I've marked in the drawing where I want it to go. And I'm giving it rotation. This is just like inserting a symbol or several other kinds of plug-in objects. Once I've marked its rotation, you can see the object being built. You're seeing 3D now. It's also building the 2D portion. This is a hybrid object. If we come over here to the Object Info palette, We've got different dimensions, and you can see that as I change the dimensions, the object rebuilds itself on the screen. You can save those dimensions into a library and use them for later times, just like I'm doing here. You can see that as I select different speakers from our library, the object info palette gets repopulated, and the object rebuilds itself. Okay, I'm going to give our object some Z value and then go to a 2D view. You can see this is our 2D portion here. And over here, this is a new uh, feature that's part of AudioBox 2. You're used to the obj other objects showing you just uh, single horizontal vertical dispersions at a single throw distance. Okay, As, as I change our, uh, our type up here, you can see that information repopulates. And if I turn on, each of the three kinds of dispersion, and I zoom out, you can see you're getting a graphic representation of each of those dispersions. Now just a quick note, we are not trying to be high-end sonic analysis software or software that you might uh, see uh, issued by uh, manufacturers. We're simply trying to show you simple representation of coverage within a Vectorworks file. Okay, so that's a quick look at AudioBox 2. Okay, if I select what's on the screen, I'm going to show you Audio Array Tool. Okay, here's its icon. If I select it, you'll see a little bitty representation of our bumper. We're going to set rotation just like we did with the other. Over here in the Object Info palette, you'll see it's fairly sparse compared to AudioBox. It's because a lot of the uh, hard work is being done in this Configure Array a dialog. You can see here you've got a preview of what your bumper is going to look like. And as we select different bumpers from a library, you can see the dimensions change and our preview change. You can have up to three speaker types. And again, this is the same library that AudioBox is using. So let's make our type A sub. You can see a representation here. Type B, let's make mid highs. And then type C, Let's make fills. Okay, and you can see the same dispersion information that was in AudioBox is here in this dialog. Come here to this last pane. This is where we start inserting speakers into our array. We're going to insert a couple of subs. We're going to insert a couple of mid highs and a couple of the fills. Oh, and let's say instead of the C's being in that bottom position, we want them up above. You can see that the, the model rebuilds itself. And something that's also new with this uh, version of the tool is you can have different uh, uh, tilts for the different speakers in your array instead of having a single kind. You can see I've given everything, a f or everything underneath the subs a 5 degree. And if we want to come down to the bottom here, instead of 5, let's make it 8 instead. Okay, once we've got all that information changed, the first time you use the tool, you have to say insert speakers. And we're fairly zoomed out, so you can't really see what's going on. But if we zoom in, you can see that our array has been built. Okay, And if we select our bumper and come back here to configure, oh, and we want to add some, uh, some more of these fills at the bottom, we can add a bunch. And we can change uh, the tilt independently, just like we looked at a second ago. And when we click OK, you can see that the array has rebuilt itself. And if I zoom out, you'll see that we've added a couple more speakers on the bottom. So this is a quick look at the Audio Toolset 2 
uh, plugin objects for Vectorworks. If you've got any questions about the tools, uh, please feel free to stop by the website you see on your screen. Thank you.